What's happening guys? Welcome to step five in the series on how to build a sentiment analyzer using Yelp business reviews. So in the last video, we went through how to lemmatize our reviews and reduce our text or our words down to their base format. Now in this video, we're going to get finally get to the sentiment analysis. And again, we're going to be using text blob for this uh, as it's a simple method to get that sentiment analysis out. So let's jump right into it. Now, again, let's create another markdown section and let's call this uh, sentiment analysis. Typing is not on point. And what we're going to do to actually calculate the sentiment analysis is import another package from text blob. So in this case, we're actually going to import text blob. So from text blob, import text blob. Boom, successful. Alrighty. Now, when you run sentiment analysis, you actually get two metrics back. So you get a polarity metric and you get a subjectivity metric. Now, the polarity metric is probably the one that we're more interested in because it gives you from minus one to one a metric of how positive, positive or how negative a review is. So negative one being negative positive one obviously being positive, uh, vice versa. Subjectivity is a metric between zero and one, and it's a measure of how much the text is based on factual information versus just generic opinion. So ideally, if you wanted a really constructive review, you're probably looking for something which is, I mean, you could say it's objective, but you probably want a little bit of personal opinion in that as well, but you'd ideally want something that's not too negative, not too positive. But if you're looking for, I guess, your, your biggest critics, you'll be looking for something which is super subjective and also, I guess, reasonably negative because you, you're sort of getting right down to the bottom of the barrel in terms of, I guess, the worst bits about your business. So that's just a little bit about the metrics that we're gonna be dealing with. Let's get right into it. So, alrighty, so we've imported text blob. Now what we're going to do is we're actually going to be using our lemmatized column now. So let's grab that and we're going to calculate sentiment on the review as a whole or what's left of our review. So again, I call lam uh, apply lambda and we're gonna call the text blob object and pass our review to that and then we're going to calculate sentiment. Now remember when I said sentiment calculates two metrics. So if I run this now, we'll actually get an array back. So let's do that. Oh, sorry, a tuple. So we've got two values. So the first is polarity. The second is subjectivity. You can see we've got some negative values, obviously not the greatest reviews. We can strip this out if we want to store it in a column in pandas. So let's just grab the first value and we're going to call that, uh, what was it? So polarity. So we've now got polarity stored in a column and we're also going to store subjectivity. And we'll grab the second element. So now we can check it out. So, and you can see we've got polarity and subjectivity in there as well. So let's just describe those metrics and take a look at what we're dealing with. So average is 21. So I mean, as a whole, we're dealing with relatively positive reviews. I mean, I guess they're not Super positive, but they're towards a positive scale. And we're dealing with, I mean, the, on the majority, highly subjective reviews. So they're, I guess they're above. So they're more subjective but as opposed to objective. So they're, they're based on personal opinion, which is, I guess, what you'd expect if you were dealing with reviews because it's a person's interpretation of something. So, I mean, makes sense. Uh, and again, we've got 20, so the max. I mean, we've got some pretty good reviews here. Uh, and this is sort of pretty consistent with what I'd guess. I mean, the majority of the review is going to be public opinion. So in terms of summarizing, this would probably start dropping some stuff we don't need because remember, we've got a heap of columns now. So we can probably get rid of, we really don't need a lot of this, do we? So let's get rid of all of the stage cleaning. So we can run df.drop and we are going to run that on lowercase, punctuation, we don't need that, stop word, 
uh, clean review. And we probably don't need lemmatized either, or lemmatized words to count. I mean, that doesn't really add much value unless it's unique. And we want to set axis equal to one to drop that. And in place equals true. Uh, we spelled that wrong, so it should be a lower case. Perfect, so check the f.head again. Now we've really got what we need. So we've got the review, word count, character count, average word length, stop word count, stop word rate, clean review word count, clean rate, as well as polarity and subjectivity. So I mean, that really summarizes what you need in terms of conducting sentiment analysis. And you can build that into a pipeline, just throw it into a function, uh, get that spitting out could probably take a look and it's probably useful to sort it by polarity just to see what's good and what's not so good. So values and we're going to go by polarity. Perfect. So that concludes how to build a sentiment analyzer using Yelp business reviews. So just to recap, we've gone through how to get our data off Yelp, how to analyze our key metrics, how to clean our data, how to lemmatize our data, and finally, how to calculate those two key metrics, which are polarity and subjectivity. If you like this series, be sure to leave a comment and subscribe. If there's anything else you, leave a note, you need to know, leave a comment in the comments below. Thanks, peace.